Today's Bible study is titled The Mystery. Many believers spend a lifetime studying scripture and hearing messages preached from pulpits, yet they never even notice Paul's teaching and preaching of the mystery which Christ revealed to him. This is not a mystery or one of many mysteries, but specifically what Paul calls the mystery. Three examples of Paul's many mentions of the mystery are found below. One, Paul's conclusion regarding believers being builded together for an habitation of God through the Spirit. Ephesians 2 verse 22 saying, For this cause I, Paul, the prisoner of Jesus Christ for you Gentiles, if ye have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God which is given me to you, Lord, how that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery, as I wrote afore in few words. Ephesians 3 verses 1 to 3. 2. Just a few verses later, Paul notes of his having been made a minster, that this was unto me, who am less than the least of all saints, is this grace given, that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ, and to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery, which from the beginning of the world hath been hid in God, who created all things by Jesus Christ. Ephesians 3 verses 8 to 9. 3. And in the closing of his Roman epistle, Paul proclaims, Now to him that is of power to establish you according to my gospel and the preaching of Jesus Christ according to the revelation of the mystery, which was kept secret since the world began. Very few churches, pastors, or Bible teachers even teach and preach that there is any such thing as the mystery. So let's take a closer look at these verses. In these scripture references, we see that Paul was given the dispensation of the grace of God. And in this, Christ gave him special revelation, which he called the mystery. This is new revelation given by Christ to Paul to reveal to the church, which is his body. Paul was further given grace that he should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ, and further to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery. And this is likewise the charge given us as ambassadors of Christ, as we preach and teach what the glorified Lord Jesus Christ instructed Paul to tell us. So believers are clearly to be teaching and preaching the rightly divided scripture in such a way as to make all men, women, boys, and girls know just what is the fellowship of the mystery, further reinforcing that this was new and special revelation, is the statement that, the mystery revelation was that which from the beginning of the world hath been hid in God until the glorified Lord Jesus. Christ chose to reveal it to the Apostle Paul. Continuing Paul's closing statement in his Roman epistle notes some very important attributes of the mystery message given Paul, stating that in it is the power to establish you according to my gospel. It should be pointed out here that establish means to be built up. So the point is that this is yet another instance where Paul shows how important an understanding of the revelation of the mystery is for the life of a believer after salvation. Continuing in Romans 16.25, Paul says that his gospel is the preaching of Jesus Christ according to the revelation of the mystery, a previously unknown message, example, not prophesied, that was kept secret since the world began. It should be noted that this is different than the preaching of the twelve little flock who preach Christ in accordance with that which God has spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began, Acts 3, verse 21. To fully understand just what Paul is speaking of when he speaks, writes of, the mystery would require a complete study of the entirety of the Pauline epistles, Romans through Philemon. Suffice it to say that teaching the mystery is obviously very important and something you will be hearing more about as you read this book and as you read. You will likely be drawn to the same question which I had when I first heard. Example, why haven't I heard of this before? Thank you for listening to today's Bible study. God bless you.